What's up everybody and welcome to another episode. It's Alan here and today we're going to be touring this incredibly designed home right behind me over on 73 Ray in the city of Irvine. And before I give you guys any of the specs, I want to give a quick shout out to the listing agent Cindy Chin for letting me tour her amazing listing. For information down below in the description and also the proper information will be down in the description as well. So now for the specs of the house, it is a five bed, six bath, 4,243 square feet for the living space, 5,400 square feet for the whole lot, and this home is listed for $2,268,000. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, and right as if you're walking up on the driveway, you do have the two car garage. And for me, I really actually love the color tones to this house. I'm liking the dark with the light. Um, you have different types of material as well. You have the nice uh, smooth stone out here. Also with the wooden uh, exterior features and also uh, the smooth stucco. So it's also, it's a lot of different type of material that I think is complementing really well here. And I'm really also loving this stone that they have here up on the, on the staircases. It kind of just brings a lot of pop out into it so it kind of just brings your attention out into it. So right as you walk in you also have this kind of front patio as well. It gives you a little extra privacy, a little extra security as well. You know for anyone can't see really the front door anything like that. You got to come in through there, walk into the front patio and then we walk in through here through these double doors which I mean these things are pretty sturdy so now that we've seen everything out in the front, let's go take a look inside. All right, and right as you walk in, you'll notice the same type of flooring that's used out on the patio. It's used throughout the whole floor out here. Um, this type of house, it is an open concept home, so right as you're walking in, you do see the lay room area, which I believe is staged really well for what it is. Um, you have, I mean, you can have your friends here, you know, enjoying the time here, having the big flat screen TV. Um, and right in here, you do have also, throughout the whole house, you do have recessed lighting. Uh, Built-in speakers actually, both speakers out on the ceiling. And I'm really liking this really big island they have here in the kitchen. Uh, this quartz countertop island, also almost like a, like a uh, bar top as well, because you have all the seating right here. Um, you do have a sub-zero uh, temper con temperature control of the wine cooler here, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, sub-zero uh, fridge, which, I mean, stainless steel, this thing is pretty big. It can hold a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I mean, as you guys can see, I don't gotta explain it too much myself. Uh, right in walking through here, you do have an open pantry, walk-in pantry, which this is plenty of storage for all the stuff that you need, all, all the food, spices, you know, everything that you need in here. You also have uh, wolf appliances. So you have microwave, oven, and you also have a uh, wolf six burner stove here, which I think for wolf, these are amazing appliances here with this nice vented area. So, you know, the house doesn't start smelling like all the food that you have. Uh, but like I was saying, you have the quartz countertop. I do like how they use the same uh, backsplash here for the countertop, the quartz, and also the other backsplash that they have as here. I think it gives that nice glossy finish that they have. Uh, and before I forget, they do have two stainless steel dishwashers because one of them isn't enough. So two stainless steel dishwashers, you have a nice deep dish uh, stainless steel sink here. And of course, in these types of homes, the more upper price homes, you do have in all the drawers, cabinetry, the soft clothes because you don't want to be going and slamming all the, all the drawers. I mean, if you're mad, you can slam it as hard as you want, still get it this off close. So, and right walking through here, you also do have the dining room area with this marble uh, dining piece here, uh, which I think here, these windows do bring a lot of light into this room, which every dining room does need because you don't like the dining room to be uh, dark and gloomy. I think the recess lighting, the big windows here, gives it that good, nice, light, airy feel that every room should have. Um, so I'm really a big fan of this. So now we're gonna go ahead and walk across the living room, kitchen area, and 
you're gonna see something pretty cool that I think is pretty cool actually. Uh, right to your left here, it is a half bath. Um, you know, just the typical stuff for you, your guests that can use, um, really easy access. And in this room here, it is staged as an office, but I'm really liking the big open windows here, which you have views of the front yard. And also you do have access from here, from the, uh, the front patio. So again, I'm loving these huge windows. Uh, the, the trimming on the outside of the windows are black, so they, it looks it gives it that more of that modern type of feel. Um, so this room, I'm really a fan of. And now that we're done with the office, we have now seen the layer room, kitchen, and also the dining room area. We're gonna head over here to my left, which is gonna be the first guest room. Well, actually, before you see the first guest room, I'm gonna show you guys a little extra storage space that you have over here to your left. Um, again, they do use these quartz countertops throughout the whole house. Again, the soft close cabinetry for all the storage. And we are gonna see a two car garage here. And there you go. Uh, two car garage here, which you can add a bunch of shelving here, which gives it you know a lot of storage space and everything like that. So, plenty of room for two cars. And I would say in the front, you do have extra space for two of the cars to be on the front. So. For me, this is a lot of space that you have for, unless you have like 10 cars, but this is this is plenty. So, now walking through this door, you do have an extra lounge area. So, I mean, if you have other guests over there, this is a little bit more private section. Uh, you can be hanging out here, you also have extra storage space again. The quartz countertops with the Sub-Zero fridge. Uh, you have extra storage space, so I would say since it does have a stainless steel sink here, I would say that this can be more, you can have like extra food here, some drinks, chips, you know, a little extra hangout area that you can have here. Again, like I said, it's a little bit more private and through this door here, it is just an uh, exit way to out into the backyard. Okay, but we're gonna see the backyard. I'm gonna save that for later. It's, it's, I'm, I'm just gonna save it for later, so just stay tuned, okay? So now walking through this room here, you do have one of the guest suites here. So I, I'm really liking the way that they have this, uh, the stage is set up, uh, the nice uh, light color tones that they have here, really nice. And they have the quartz, again, like I said, they have the quartz countertops throughout the whole house, the extra storage space, and they do have uh, extra laundry room here. So for people that are on the first floor, you do have your own, you know, it's in the same room, so you can do your own laundry whenever you want. And of course, it's not a room without its own bathroom. Let me see here if I can turn this light on. There we go. It's nice and nice and airy in here. Um, it has a, a shower, white shower, white on white. And again, the quartz countertop with the vanity. And you know, that, that's actually it for the first floor. So now that we've seen the first floor, we're gonna take the stairs up to second floor and we're gonna check that floor out. So let's go. All right guys, now we're in the staircase. We're gonna head up to the second floor. And I want you to notice they did use these wide oak flooring here, which I think complements the house really well. Instead of just having that stone throughout the house, they have this to warm it up a little bit. And do notice that they do have these LED lighters on the floor, so I mean, they'll light up at night, so when you're walking around here, going up the stairs, you don't trip and fall and, you know, cause an accident. You know, because no one wants an accident when they're going up the stairs late at night, maybe getting a late night snack if they want, but... Right when you walk up here in the second floor, again, there's wide oak flooring throughout the second floor, and this room here with the recess lighting, does have, it is more like a lounge area, again, so another, I guess, second layer room that they have here. Uh, but I mean, you can sit down, relax, read a book if you want, and just kind of, just chill, just chill. Okay, so we're gonna walk through this hallway, and to my left here, they do have another laundry room. So, a separate laundry room just for the second uh, second floor here. You have the connection hookups, obviously more storage for towels and everything like that. And sink, because your clothes or anything, or towels or anything are too, too dirty. So now walking through this hall, uh, unfortunately these two rooms here are not staged, uh, but there are just two extra bedrooms here. Um, so we're gonna take a look in here. Again, the recess lighting, it has a closet, a decent sized space here, and it also does have its own uh, restroom, bathroom, powder room that they have here. Again, the quartz countertops, the vanity, the vanity mirror, the glass mirror for the shower. So now that we've seen that room, we're gonna take a look at the other guest room which is a little bit larger in square footage. Uh, you get views out here through these windows, a lot of natural light coming in through here. Uh, you get views of the front yard, which, I mean, during the day, you're gonna get a lot of natural light in here, so that's always a positive. Again, 
the own, uh, their own restroom with the quartz countertops. Uh, unlike in the toilet, they put the glass shower. And in this room, it does have uh, a walk-in closet. So that's obviously a little upgrade from the other room. You get your own walk-in closet here, but all the closets in this house are a very decent, good size. So now we're gonna head back down the hall and to the right, we're actually gonna see the master bedroom. So walking through here, through this door, you're gonna see the master bedroom here, which obviously is the biggest room in the house. Uh, you get a lot of natural light coming in through these three glass windows here. And actually right over here, you do have an outdoor patio deck. So you have these pocketing doors here that slide all the way, slide all the way in, all the way in here. You have the nice wood floor, hardwood floor in here, which obviously is set up perfectly. This is, if I forgot to mention earlier, it is more like a little bit of a resort style house, just because on every floor you have your own fireplace, uh, your own TV, you got a little lounge area here, which I think for me is pretty cool. I think every level, if there is a room in every level, there should be a little area like this, kind of to relax, you know, maybe sip some wine if you want after a long, hard day. So through these doors, we now have the master bath. So we have this nice, actually, this, this is actually a pretty big tub here. Um, I like this white gloss finish they finished here. You have this huge walk-in shower, which I like this couple stuff that they have here on the flooring. Uh, you got the rain shower head, which a lot of people love these, which I can imagine it looks good, it feels like it's raining. They also do have a little seating area for you. And I'm, I really actually like this drain, this little touch that they have here. It's that stainless steel and it gives a little bit more of that modern touch instead of just having a big drain right here in the center. This obviously degrees a little bit off to the side to where all the water will just run off to the side over there in that drain. And of course you have, you have to have the double sink here, one hers and his. So, you know, you guys can have your stuff separate even though usually the white takes up most of the space anyway. But it's okay. Uh, so now, walking over here, you do have extra space for more towels. Uh, again, the quartz countertops, the soft clothing cabinets. And through this door here, you do have a walk-in closet. So plenty of space for husband and wife, you know. Again, the quartz countertops and plenty of space to hang your clothes and you do get this nice window here which brings a lot of natural light coming in which, I mean, this walk-in closet is pretty spacious so I I'm, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, right? So now, we're gonna, now that we've seen the second floor, we're gonna head back, actually we're gonna head upstairs because there is three floors here. We're gonna head upstairs and see the last guest bedroom on the top floor. So let's go. Okay, now we're taking the last staircase here. Um, again, the white oak flooring with, again, the LEDs on the floor so you're not tripping at night. Uh, I'm also liking this nice detail that they have here, the nice wooden and also metal uh, railings that they have here. Give it a little bit more of that, you know, modern touch that they needed here. So again, recent sliding and we are on the third floor. So we do have a full uh, bath here with the quartz countertops, a vanity mirror, uh, its own shower. And through this door here, this is the last, I would, I would say the last suite here in this, in this house. So it's very spacious. You have the double doors there. A lot of natural light coming in through those glass doors. And again, recess lighting. And this room here also has its own patio, which is why I had mentioned that this is a little bit more resort style. Because in this way, um, everyone has their own patio deck, you know, to relax. And obviously this, the floor that they have here, they changed it up a little bit from the white oak, so a little bit more glossy. I'm liking it, I love the, the stage that they have here, the little coffee table, couch, and obviously you, they have the mounting area to put up your TV. So, and again, you get great views here. I mean, neighbors, you get views of the backyard. And actually, now that we're done with the house, we're gonna head back downstairs and we're gonna go see the backyard. So let's go. All right guys, so I told you I was gonna save the backyard for last and now that we're back on the first floor, to get to the backyard, you slide these pocket doors all the way in, which pocket all the way into the wall. So also on the right side, the same glass windows pocket all the way in so you have more of that indoor outdoor feel. You have the dining table, the flat screen, the fireplace, so that way if you guys wanna have a barbecue or something like that, you guys can relax out here. Maybe if you wanna have dinner, you can also have dinner out here as well. 
So a couple of extra facts as well out here. They use the same stone uh, stucco and also the wooden panels that they use in the exterior part of the home. These are all in this room here, which I think is pretty cool. And right as you walk out through here, a little bit more uh, space to entertain. Over here to my right over here, we do have the AstroTurf, which for me is really convenient, low maintenance, so that way if you ever forget to water your grass, this stays green throughout the whole year. Winter, summer, fall, spring, just stays green all the time. So a lot of space over here to entertain. I really also like the plants that they have over here, a lot of greenery, so you can plant your own plants. If you want to have maybe a tomato tree, lemon tree, you can plant whatever you want over there. And I love this built-in barbecue here with this uh, stone that they used. This nice, gray, sleek look. Uh, the KitchenAid barbecue, which of course I would use all the time because I love cooking burgers, hot dogs, and since for me being Mexican, carne asada. Carne asada is a major key point for us, and I, me personally, I love it. And you gotta have the stainless steel sink just in case, you know, if your hands get a little too dirty, use it to stay clean. So that's actually it for the tour guys. I hope you guys really liked it. If you guys did, go down below, subscribe, like the video. And if you guys wanna get notified for the next video, click the notification button. And I, again, I just wanted to thank the listing agent, Cindy Chin for letting us tour her amazing listing here. And more information will be down below. So that's it guys. If you guys liked it, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.